Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, let me ask, uh, uh, let me follow up on some of the questioning that's taken place uh, as to whether there was a full investigation of this whole matter. You, you claim, uh, Administrator, that there was a full investigation of the matter. Uh, uh, all of these uh, sexual harassment, sexual uh, assault issues that have been raised that were in, that were part of the Inspector General's review. You you claim again. Just tell us. You believe they were fully investigated. I believe that they were investigated. I have concerns about the um, completeness, uh, thoroughness of a couple of the investigations. So then you agree with Mr. Horowitz, the OIG, that there was not a thorough investigation of all of the incidents? I agree that some of the incidents were not thoroughly fully, investigated okay. and fully investigated, and, yes. And that was your position, too, and the assumption that I have from your report. That, correct, that's sir? correct, okay. Congressman. Well, that in itself raises great questions when the Inspector General says that the, these incidents were not fully investigated. So that, to me, is a big issue right there. Well, the yeah. gentleman yields. Yes, I yield first. Uh, and I hate to do this to you. On March, but I just was handed something. March 26th of this year, you, Ms. Le Ms. Leonard, as the administrator, sent this email out within your agency, and you said these allegations were fully investigated by the DEA Office of Professional Responsibility. Yield back. Well, again, there seems to be a conflict between, again, what the chairman has just cited, what we've had as previous testimony and what the uh, Inspector General said. Okay, that being said, then I have some questions too. Um, you, you say you don't have the authority, but you took the authority post Cartagena. It looks like before Cartagena, and you've, you have, you've been there since 2010, is that right? That's correct. Like you didn't just arrive on the block. And you see the conduct that took place in 2006, 2008, 2000, uh, uh, the sex parties, the um, uh, assaults, all of these things that were going on. Cartagena was what, two years ago? 2012. Three years ago. Well, what happened is you, you set up a culture within the agency that you could get away with this. And you were there. You must have known some of this was going on. Cartagena brought it to the press and our attention, uh, the, the size and scope of what was going on. The, uh, the thing that concerns me is before that, uh, some of the people got, uh, <laughs> who were involved, it uh, looks like if you attended a sex party, uh, one report here, one agent was cleared of any wrongdoing, seven of ten agent, agents ultimately attended to the part, parties and uh, engaging with prostitutes. So it looked like the penalty, they got uh, suspensions of um, a few days, and um, I think the most was like six, six days up to that time. So that was sort of the standard operating procedure while you were there until Cartagena. That's the kind of penalty they were getting, right? If I can explain, um, uh, uh, Congressman, the first the first I heard of any of these sex parties or the behavior that's described in the reports was actually Cartagena. When Cartagena happened, I became concerned, is this systemic? Has this happened before? And we went back and we took a look at where this activity had occurred, if anybody had been uh, disciplined for it, and we found one Bogota case. Well, again, uh, we have instances and we have penalties. Uh, most of them o only got minor penalties. Uh, and it was known that some of this had been, uh, had posed great security risks. I guess drug folks were paying for some of this activity. And they got uh, anywhere from four to six days. Um, only a suspension of 15 days or more is considered serious 
uh, for adverse um, employment action. So those people went right on working at that time. So what I'm saying is a culture existed while you were there up to Cartagena, uh, and there were low penalties. After Cartagena, you did some, you took some action. Some people were actually fired. Is that correct? Yes, that's the first okay. case that yeah. came. And the difference, folks, uh, members of the committee, this, this is the same thing, whether it's Secret Service, VA, IRS, HUD, any agency. She doesn't have the right to summarily fire people. She has to go through a process, merit system protection, the protections of Title V, a federal act created by Congress. Unless you change that law and give these people the ability to fire people summarily when they are found uh, in, in, you know, a proper process, uh, at a speedy process, to violate, whether it's sexual assault, sexual harassment, you'll have this continue, all these problems continue across the scope of all of our civil service system. The only one exempt from that, I understand, is FBI. Didn't get enough uh, time to ask you questions about how many people you fired, but we'll get that uh, in the record at some point, I hope. Yield back. You think the gentleman